It's week four of the Ohio season. I'm in Venton County trying to pull one off before the season closes. The gobblers weren't very vocal this morning, but I wasn't ready to give up. So, it's a, uh, I killed a Jake bird, uh, I know it's not kosher to slam a Jake bird on video, but it is uh, May 15th, uh, Wednesday, the last Wednesday of the season, uh, Ohio season ends on uh, Sunday this week. So, you know, I'd love to have a long beard come in and smoke it and uh, take what you can get into the season. Now I got meat in the freezer. And me personally, I'm not that against killing Jake birds. Um, I know some guys will let them pass. And I have two at times, uh, especially if I've already got one for the year. But, uh, uh, Still a good hunt. Um, still meat in the freezer. It's still a lot of fun. So, so what all happened today? Uh, been hearing birds up close to the to the cabin. Um, I think you'll see uh, probably on, on one of these videos. We actually had an incident where we hunted all day. Came up to the cabin, grabbed a cup of coffee, looked outside, and there was a uh, long beard at the feeder uh, right in front of the, the cabin um, we don't hunt the feeder but uh, my uh, mother comes out here and likes to be able to get up in the morning and look at the animals out at the feeder um, however 
came in here today, got here early, got here you know, plenty of time, set up uh, where I thought they would be, and of course where you think they are is where they're not, where they're not supposed to be is where they are, so uh, just heard a gobble. Um, so anyways, not much gobbling. I don't know that I got any gobble on video, and it was just really sporadic this morning, uh, which was pretty disappointing. Um, but I did uh, hear some gobbles, a ridge or two ridges over. Um, so after the morning unfolded and got daylight and I knew the birds were on the ground, I figured I'd get up and move. Um, and so I came over to uh, what used to be a set of pines. It's starting to thin out and become hardwoods now, but uh, we've, we've had a lot of success here in this little set of pines. Uh, my nephew ended up killing a bird here uh, a couple years ago, almost off of the same tree. Uh, anyway, so I go to set up, and I hadn't heard any gobbling for about 20 minutes, maybe longer. Um, I sit down, get the camera up, uh, hadn't even made a call, and I look over, and there's a, a Jake standing there checking me out. Um, I don't think at that point he knew exactly what it was. Um, so by that time, I had the camera set up. And I was almost ready to go, so I clicked the record button, panned over, and uh, when I did that, I saw a couple more Jakes coming up the hill. Um, got sighted in, called to try to calm them down. I don't know if on video you'll see, but they're, they're starting to get a little antsy because I think they see movement from me, um, but they can't quite figure out what it is. Um, so I called a little bit. He poked his head out of the other side of a tree and, and I put it to him. So